everybody, this is Coach Mark 2 coming out with my second Halo 3 Forge tutorial, this one for high ground like I promised. Um, first thing we're going to show you is the Wall of Hell, which is very similar to the Confetti Maker in a lot of ways. Um, what you want to do first is access monitor mode and then fly over to the uh, switch and push it so that the gate opens up. Then hop down there press up X, call up your menu, and start stacking fusion coils lots of them all on the gray line right along there you can put as many as you want just the more the merrier you know you get a bigger explosion if you put more so once you have all those in position maybe add one more here or there lay them down it's alright as long as they're on the gray line what you want to do is just like with the confetti maker in the other tutorial press X once then press it again to call it the summary. Set the runtime minimum and runtime maximum to 14 or or make sure the runtime minimum and maximum are the same. Here it's 14 but you probably will put more. Um, you can throw a grenade at it to test it out and if all 14 of them respawn in basically the same place then you've done right. So what you want to do is no, no you don't want to save it. You can but I wouldn't. Just start a new round and watch what happens. Ow. That hurt. Now you can save the map and come back to it later, but you can always do this too. That's called the Wall of Hell, ladies and gentlemen. And it goes on forever. You can see the gate here. You're getting blasted backwards by all the debris. In fact, you can't get very close to it without being cut to pieces by lots of debris. And the only way to stop it is to go up here and open up the gate because the gate shut at the start of the new round. So all you gotta do is press RB, open the gate up, and there you go. It stopped. Well, that's about it for the uh, wall of hell. You can always throw a grenade and get it going again. It's always fun to do. Alright, moving on. We are going to work on getting you outside of the map boundary. Alright, here we go with part two. This is to show you how to get outside the map um, without using the uh, camera out of sand trap glitch like we did in the last one. What you want to do, you'll need two people. Have uh, one guy spawn a you so just grab one that's there. And have both people get on it. So one guy's in the back, you know, in the passenger seat. Then have the driver get off and pick up the mongoose and carry it over, come to the left over here by this rock and hold the right trigger and push forward on the movement stick and you'll push the mongoose with the guy on it outside the boundary now uh, he's gonna go um, yeah, splat now what he can do is get off of his mongoose, change to monitor mode and make a receiver well, that didn't work try again make a receiver node for a teleporter then Switch back to your other person. See, he's still inside the boundary. And have him make a teleporter sender node. And then have him go through it. Watch what happens. From this guy's perspective. And, ah, oh, wait a minute. Okay, first you want to delete the other one. Like, if it bounces your receiver node, delete the one on the beach. And then, this red fair fella will pop out out here underwater and you can run around everywhere you want to jump around a bit you know just mess around do whatever however if you go too far out to sea just watch what happens <laughs> boom you die you have just been smited by the hand of Bungie same with the um, monitor and somehow he drops grenades I don't know where he stores them, he just does. The last part has uh, me jumping up here, and this is a very simple jump. You just gotta push the camping stool over, hop on it, and then crouch jump up on this rock here. Now I would suggest just hiding on the rock right here, because the camouflage tarp gives you great cover. But if you really want, then you can turn around and head the other way and get on top of the tarp right there and you can walk around and shoot at stuff and do whatever it is people do when they find a new hiding spot um, 
Right. Alright, this basically concludes the uh, Halo 3 High Ground tutorial for Forge. Um, please tell me if you have any other thoughts or ideas about maps I should do, and any other uh, comments. Thank you. Actually, before I conclude the video, I'd like to give you sort of a note from the editor. Um, I realize this is not one of my best uh, movies ever. I don't know why I picked High Ground. I guess I, guess I kind of like The Wall of Hell or something. But there really wasn't a whole lot I could do on it. Um, I'm aware that this tutorial probably isn't quite as good as the one on Sand Trap. Um, but I'm like the chief here. I'm tired and overworked people, so just stop bothering me. Seriously. Well, not really. Nobody's really bothered me. But please don't flame the video. I know it's not the best I've ever made. I know it could be a whole lot better. Um, so if you really want to do something about it, then just suggest a map where I could actually do some stuff. Like Valhalla, maybe. I think I'll do Valhalla. Oh, that'd be nice. Anyway, just tell me what you think.